Hello everyone, welcome to Mathematics Parsala. This is Norris. Today I will discuss this problem which came in CHR UGC net December 2023 in part C. Let's see the question. Consider the initial value problem x square y double dash minus 2x square y dash plus 4x minus 2 into y equal to 0 with initial condition y0 equal to 0. Suppose y equal to 5x is a polynomial solution satisfying phi 1 equal to 1. Then we have to find which of the following statements are true. Okay. So here given that x square y double dash minus 2x square into y dash plus 4x minus 2 into y equal to 0. So this can be written as y double dash minus 2y dash plus 4x minus 2 by x square into y equal to 0. Now we will compare this with y double dash px into y dash plus qx into y equal to 0. We will get px equal to minus 2 and qx equal to 4x minus 2 by x square. You can see that Px is analytic at everyone, but Qx is not analytic at the in the initial condition x equal to 0. So, x equal to 0 is a singular point. Singular point of given differential equation. Okay. Now, you can see that x Px is what? x Px equal to minus 2x and x square qx equal to 4x minus 2 ok now you can see that xps and x square qx are analytic at both are analytic at x equal to 0 so x equal to 0 becomes is a regular singular point ok regular singular point now now we can use the Frobenius method to solve this problem. So using the Frobenius method let yx equal to summation over m equal to 0 to infinity cm x to the power k plus m where c0 equal to not equal to 0 ok so y dash x will be what summation over m equal to 0 to infinity c m k plus m into x to the power k plus m minus 1 and y dash will be become summation over m equal to 0 to infinity cm k plus m into k plus m minus 1 into x to the power k plus m minus 2 ok now we will put this equation we now we will put this put this y y dash one y double dash into the into the into the given differential equation we will get we will get what let's see x square y double dash means this expression summation over m equal to 0 to infinity cm into k plus m into k plus m minus 1 into x to the power k plus m minus 2 and minus 2x square y dash y dash means this term summation over m equal to 0 to infinity c m k plus m x to the power k plus m minus 1 plus 4 x minus 2 into y y means this summation over m equal to 0 to infinity c m x to the power k plus m equal to 0 so now we will rearranging this term we will get summation over 
m equal to 0 to infinity cm k plus m into k plus m minus 1 and x square into this we will get x to the power k plus m similarly from this term we will get 2 summation over m equal to 0 to infinity cm k plus m x to the power k plus m plus 1 plus from this term we will get plus 4 into summation over m equal to 0 to infinity cm x to the power k plus m plus 1 minus 2 into summation over m equal to 0 to infinity um, cm into x to the power k plus m now you can see that in the first term uh, there is x to the power k plus m and this term is x to the power k plus m and this term is x to the power k plus m plus 1 and this term is x to the power k plus m plus 1 so now we will equating the we will collect in this term what we get let's see summation over m equal to 0 to infinity cm x to the power k plus m from this we will get from this we will get k plus m plus k plus m into k plus m plus k plus m pl minus 1 k plus m into k plus m minus 1 and from this we will get minus 2 minus 2 ok <coughs> plus summation over m equal to 0 to infinity c m x to the power k plus m plus 1 equal to from this we can see that here we will get 2 in minus 2 into k plus m here we will get plus 4 so minus 2 into k plus m minus 2 into k plus m plus 4 equal to 0 so from this we can write it summation over m equal to 0 to infinity cm x to the power k plus m it can be written as k plus m to the power 2 minus k plus m minus 2 plus summation over m equal to 0 to infinity if i take minus 2 common what do we get cm x to the power k plus m plus 1 k plus m minus 2 equal to 0 ok now if i let l equal to k plus m l equal to k plus m so this term becomes l square minus l minus 2 so it can be written as l plus 1 into l minus 2 so this term can be written as summation over m equal to 0 to infinity cm x to the power k plus m into k plus l plus 1 that means k plus m plus 1 into k plus m minus 2 now from this one is same m equal to minus 2 into m equal to 0 to infinity cm x to the power k plus m plus 1 into k plus m minus 2 equal to 0 so again writing this term in this space summation over m equal to 0 to infinity cm cm into k plus m plus 1 into k plus m minus 2 into x to the power k plus m minus 2 into summation over m equal to 0 to infinity cm cm into k plus m minus 2 k plus m minus 2 into x to the power k plus m plus 1 equal to 0 now the you can see the lowest term in this expression is x to the power k when m equal to 0 we get x to the power k so lowest power of x is x to the power k so here 
here no x to the power k because it here it is start with x to the power k plus 1 so so the coefficient of lowest power is x to the power k and the coefficient of x to the power k is what c0 k plus 1 from we get k minus 2 and we equal to the we now equal to coefficient of x to the power k to 0 so it gives the indicial equation indicial equation okay so from this we will get k equal to minus 1 and 2 so we find the value of k k equal to minus 1 and 2 now we will co equal to the 0 to the coefficient of x to the power k plus m so here you can see that coefficient of x to the power k plus m is this here is x to the power k plus 1 so the coefficient of x to the power k plus m will be c m minus 1 into k plus m minus 3 into 2 so it will, will get we will get c m into k plus m plus 1 k plus m minus 2 minus 2 into c m minus 1 k plus m minus 3 equal to 0 so from this we will get cm cm equal to 2 into k plus m minus 3 by k plus m plus 1 into k plus m minus 2 into cm minus 1 ok so this is the relation between cm and cm minus 1 so if we put m equal to 1 we get say 1 uh, 2 c2 and blah 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 so now what do we get cm equal to 2 into k plus m minus 3 by k plus m plus 1 into k plus m minus 2 into cm minus 1 okay now if i put m equal to 1 what we get c1 equal to c1 equal to 2 into 2 into k minus 2 by k plus 2 into k minus 1 into c0 if i put m equal to 2 we will get c2 c2 equal to what 2k minus 1 by k plus 3 into k into c1 ok now see value of c1 is what it this now putting this value we will get 2 a square k minus 1 into k minus 2 by k plus 3 into k plus 2 into k into k minus 1 into c0 ok if i put m equal to 3 what we get c3 equal to 2k by k plus 4 into k plus 1 into c2 now putting this value what we get 2q into k into k minus 1 into k minus 2 by k plus 4 into k plus 3 into k plus 2 into k plus 1 into k into k minus 1 ok so into c0 so every term c1 c2 c3 we will get in the term of c0 ok so and so on so so we will get the solution we get the solution of k equal to what k equal to k1 equal to 2 and k equal to k equal to k2 equal to minus 1 c we get k equal to minus 1 k and 2 so we let k equal to k1 equal to 2 and k2 equal to minus 1 so the solution can be written as y i x equal to x to the power k i c0 plus c1 x plus c2 x square plus c3 x cube and so on 
uh, where c0 c1 c, uh, where c1 c2 c3 are calculated by this formula as at k equal to k1 ki k equal to k1 and k equal to k2 so so when x equal k equal to k1 equal to 2 so the solution y1 x equal to what x x square into c0 plus c1 x c2 x square plus c3 x cube and so on so now we calculate c1 c2 c3 by this formula by this formula you can see when k equal to 2 there is c1 equal to 2 into k minus 2 into c0 so the this term will vanish since k equal to 2 so c1 becomes 0 so similarly since c1 equal to 0 so c2 will be 0 similarly c2 equal to 0 so c3 will be 0 because there is c3 so so all term will vanish only c0 is remain there so the solution becomes basically x square into c0 so y1x becomes c0 x square so now for k equal to k equal to k2 equal to minus 1 so the solution will be y2x equal to x minus x to the power minus 1 c0 c1x plus c2 x square plus c3 x cube and so on so it can be written as c0 by x plus c1 plus c2 x plus c3 x square and so on you can see that the initial condition what is initial condition y0 equal to 0 so y0 equal to 0 ok so y0 equal to 0 also give y2 0 equal to 0 because this is also solution so at x equal to 0 y2 y2 0 also 0 but you can put this y2 equal to 0 here y2 equal to 0 here you can see that this will be unbounded because c0 by x is there because c0 by x is there so y2 0 becomes y2 0 becomes infinite so for this c0 term should be 0 you c0 and c1 also term should be 0 because then y2 y2 0 you will be 0 so so c0 c1 should be 0 now you can see that if c0 equal to 0 so c1 also 0 and c1 equal to 0 c2 0 c3 0 so all term will vanish so y2 0 y2 x basically becomes y2 x basically becomes 0 so only y1 x solution is there so so the general solution y x can be written as a y1 x plus b y 2 x where a b are arbitrary constant here here b y 2 x equal to 0 so only a c 0 x square is solution so we can write this as p x square so, so again give, given that y x equal to phi x so here we get phi x equal to p x square also given that phi 1 equal to 1 it implies p equal to 1 so basically we get phi x equal to x square so 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 basically we get phi x equal to x square ok so if i put 5 x equal to 4 we will get 4 square so 16 so option 1 is true if i go put phi 2 equal to 2 square 4 but option 2 is phi 2 equal to 2 option 2 is false if i put phi 5 so we will get 5 a square that means 25 so option 3 will be true if i put phi 3 we will get 3 a square that means 9 but it is given 3 so option 4 is false so option 1 and 3 are correct option and 2 and 4 are wrong option Thank you for watching this video. Thank you very much.